wave of bomb threats made for some tense moments across the country. This afternoon, a large number of businesses around the U.S. and Canada received email threats, including here in northeast Indiana. One of those businesses was Northeastern REMC in Columbia City. Wayne 15's Ruben Solis spoke to the CEO and continues our coverage tonight. Ruben? Yeah, right now, authorities are saying the threats are not credible and appear to be a hoax. They're asking anyone who receives the threat to report it. From this doctor's office in Washington, D.C., to this building in downtown Charlotte and a Jewish community center in San Francisco, the email bomb threats led to mass evacuations nationwide. Obviously, it was a, a drop what you're doing and let's get out of here. In Columbia City, the threats cost Northeastern REMC to close temporarily. Employees were moved to an off-site location for safety. We felt like we were kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place. We're not supposed to call the police. We're not supposed to leave the building. Um, uh, we're, we're not going to send the money, obviously, so uh, it's, yeah, there's not a whole lot you can do. A search of the building turned up empty. Fort Wayne police said they were contacted by a number of businesses who also received the email threats. Tonight, the department saying they found no evidence of the threats being credible. It looked like a hoax, but you have to take it seriously. You just have to. There's nothing else you can do. REMC CEO provided a copy of the email thread. It shows whoever sent it was asking for $20,000 in Bitcoin. It also said if the working day was over and no money was transferred, the bomb would explode. It's an unfortunate reality of the world we live in anymore um, that someone would go to these links and threaten lives in an effort to, to uh, gain money. It's, it's just ridiculous, but that's life. Now, authorities haven't officially said where those emails came from, but REMC says its IT department was able to track the source to Russia. In studio, Ruben Solis, Wayne 15 News.